Hey everyone, Jordan Goldmeyer here of Excel TV. So a lot of people have been asking uh, me about R and why you should want to learn R. And I always say it's the thing that you can do in Power Query, but you can do it so much, um, you can do it with a lot more precision with, in R. So let me um, pull up the sheet that I want to pull up. And so I made this, uh, I wanted to record this real quick and this is going to be very, very scrappy, everyone. So, um, you know, uh, <laughs> roll with me. I have, I have a lot going on, but I wanted to make sure everyone got to see this. Okay, so let's say I have a, a set of products right here. And this comes from a report. I have over here product ID, product category ID, product name, and an MSRP. And, the, and what I want to do in Power Query is I want to actually take it and I want to remove, you don't really see this step, but I want to remove everything that's addressed. And then I want to uh, take the, the product category IDs and summarize by them and get the total MSRPs for each product category ID. So that's something we can do in Power Query. It's also something we can do in R. And what I want to show you here is we're first going to do it in Power Query and then we're going to do it in R. And I'm going to show you that it's actually so very similar that if you know Power Query, you can pick up how to do this in R very easily. Now, uh, let's just make it in Power Query right off the bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click I'm in this products table. I'm going to click uh, from table and range right here. So we, um, we don't need the product ID, so I'm going to right-click that. Or actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to choose columns. I like that one better. And I'm going to remove product ID like so. All right, so the next thing we want to do is filter anything out that has the word dress in it. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on this down arrow, and we're going to go to text filters, does not contain, and I'm going to type in dress right here. I'll, I'll hit OK on that. So that removed uh, anything that contained dress. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I don't need this product name column anymore, so I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to click remove. Now you see the product category, category ID and the MSRP right here. So if I want to summarize by everything, what I need to do is go to transform and click group by. And so you see we're going to group by product ID. The new column is going to be uh, sum of MSRP like that. And the operation I want to do is a sum. And the column is on MSRP. So this will just sum them up much like a pivot table. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. There we go. We did it. Everyone kind of follow along. Now, um, it wasn't too hard, and what was really cool is, right, if I go to View, I can go to Advanced Editor. All this M code was generated for us, so we didn't have to think about it. But I want you to take a look, just for a brief second. Some interesting things here. We have the word select, select, remove, group. Um, we have the word filter. These are actually very common uh, words, common words in this type of data wrangling that we see today. So. If you're unfamiliar, let's hop over to R. We're going to jump over here. There's a package called Tidyverse. Tidyverse includes dplyr. I have that right here. Now, if you want to, um, you know, if you don't have R, that's okay. This is, not a, this is not really a beginning to R session. So feel free to take a look at another video on how to install that. But um, you should uh, use the uh, Tidyverse library. So I'm going to go up here. I'll hit Control Enter. That's going to send it down to the terminal. So I'm going to type some code up here, and then I can run it, or I can highlight it and hit some buttons. It's going to run it in the terminal, which is going to produce a result. OK, so you're looking at this, and you're like, how is this like Power Query at all? So let me show you, OK? So let's say I want to read in that CSV. I'm going to call this um, source. Let's think, you know, if you know some M code, let's think about some M code words, right? So I'm going to do source. Instead of doing the equals, I'm going to do this arrow like this. And then I'm going to do read. Dot CSV. So this is going to help me read in the CSV. And thankfully, I put the code down here just for my own lookup. And so I'm going to read it in. So imagine you went to Excel, you went to File Open, or you did From Table. We're just doing that here. I'll hit Control Enter. That's going to run it, send it down to the terminal. We'd see it added something called Source. Now check this out. This is an R Studio. I'm going to click on Source. Now look at this. I scroll down 57 columns or um, entries. But what does this look like to you? What does this look like to you? This looks like the Power Query editing window, doesn't it? Let's go back. It kind of looks similar, especially if we take it one step back to the source, right? We see 
57 rows, four columns. So you see it put it in there for you. Now in R, you don't have the visual way of drag and drop of changing these things, right? You have to do it via code. But this is where that really cool library called dplyr comes in. So here's how we can do this, all right? I'm gonna say result like that. So that's gonna be the result. And we're gonna start with source. So I put that in there. So whatever's a new.csv, that'll go to source and the source is gonna go to the result. Control enter, it's gonna pop up over here in my window. I can click that, you see it's the result. Okay, so that's not the dplyr yet, but let's start doing some dplyr. So let's go back real quick to um, the steps we took. So we see we started with source, right? And then Power Query did a change type. We don't really care so much about that. Uh, the data frame is smart enough. To, I don't wanna say all the time, but it usually can pick up uh, the different types, but we may end up having to fix that. I'm just not gonna deal with that today. In any case, uh, what I did is I removed other columns, right? So I'm gonna go click this right here, remove other, other columns. You see it says table, select columns, product category ID, product, ca product name, and MSRP. So think about what it's doing there in the formula bar. I'm gonna go here to our studio, and I just wanna show you this. Let me see if I can make this a bit smaller. Okay, so what I would type in here is I would say source, and then I would use what's called the pipe operator. So that's this uh, percentage, um, right caret percentage. And now I'm gonna use a dplyr command. So I'm gonna say select, that's one of the commands. And I could actually just look at this right here. I could actually even, heck, I could even just take this right here. I didn't even practice this. I could take this right here. I could paste that in there. And then if I were to run it, let's make this bigger again. If I were to run it, we don't see any issues. I go to result. You see that it worked. So what did I do? I went source, pipe, and then I told it to select. And look, I could just copy and paste this. Now what's also cool in dplyr is that I actually don't need these quotes. So if you're not a quote person, maybe you want to use them. I think it's cool not to use them. It makes these seem like entities. But you can remove these, right? So that was our first thing that we did. We did a select. So let's go take a look. Let's go take a look again at what our next step was. So we filtered the row, so we filtered product name. So what can I do here? I'm gonna go back into R. I'm gonna type in filter, and I, what do I wanna filter? So I can click on this down arrow and see what my fields are. So I wanna filter product name, like this. And I'm gonna use the pipe symbol here. You might see it a little bit differently if you look this up, but. Once you kind of get the what this pipe symbol does, you'll see why it works here. So I'm gonna use this uh, pipe symbol here and I'm gonna say string detect, because we're, we're doing it on product name, right? I'm gonna say string detect dresses, right, dress. So that's how I would do a very similar filter. So I highlight the whole thing, hit Control Shift Enter. So we're gonna look at the result. Or excuse me, let's see here, where, where are we right now? We're at filter, so or product name, oh, wait, it's where it doesn't equal that. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna actually, it doesn't contain the word dress, so I'm gonna put a not in front of it. Go like that, highlight the whole thing, control enter, we'll go to the result now. Let's see here, it didn't, uh, sometimes it takes a second to update, so let's just click this again. Let's see here, it doesn't like what I did. Um, I did not, close it off, it seems, with enough parentheses. So like that, there we go. It's, that's why it wasn't uploading when I was running it. So I'll click result now. Okay, so you see that there are 52 entries left. I'm gonna go back to Power Query once more. And once we've filtered the rows, there are 52 entries left. So next thing we wanted to do was remove columns. Now take a look at this. The command here is table.removeColumns, product name, right? So what I can do here in R, there is no specific remove column in dplyr, but this is really cool, I like this. I'm just gonna type in select, and then I'm gonna do a negative, right? So I'm just gonna subtract it out, right? So what do I want to remove? I'm gonna go to the source. I wanna remove product name. So you see it up there, so I can hit, um, Control spacebar, that'll also bring it up. So I'm gonna remove product name like that. And then 
Here, let's run this right here and see if it works. Okay, it's cool, it worked. We'll click the result. Okay, so this is what we want. It looks the same as this. So the next thing we wanna do is group by with a summary, right? So how do we do that? So I'm gonna go to R, check this out. This is like, it's crazy how similar this is. I'm gonna move this over, right? So I'm gonna type in group by, and I wanna group by product category ID, like that. And then the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna type in summarize like this, and what is gonna be the new table name? Well, we see it's some of MSRP right here. So what I can do is I can go back in R like this, some of MSRP like that. I'll say equals sum MSRP. Go like that, I run it, I go to result. Let's try that one more time. Let's see here, it's the exact same thing. It does look like these are coming in. Um, <clears throat> uh, these I haven't set these types to numbers, but that's okay. Let's see, let's see what uh, R thinks they are. Yeah, they, they think they're numbers, okay. So that is the same code here that does the same thing. And I, I just wanna, I wanna continue to show you this here. So if I go to um, advanced editor right here, and we bring up R, we bring up the dplyr. You see it's actually pretty similar, right? So we have a select right here, there's our select. We have um, a filter, we have another select. They use a remove column, but we use the negative for that. Then we have a group by, and then you see in the group by, it says, what do you group by? And then it's asking, it says each list sum, right? So it's saying, what is the operation? Well, dplyr is literally asking the same thing. It just kind of has a slightly different syntax. But my point here is, if you are doing things in Power Query and you feel like I need a little stronger level of control and more dictation, you can actually do them in R. And it's very cool to do them in R. And the other cool thing is like, once you build it here, you can actually uh, run your R queries um, on, uh, on, on the data as you pull them in. So you could always write it in here and move it over. Now, uh, one other thing I just wanna show you here is that you know how this goes, let do all this into grouped rows. You know, you could always, just to make this like even easier for you to understand, to make it even more like, take the, these sets of steps and make it more like that. Here's what I suggest you do. So we'll take the source, and I'm just gonna move everything back. And I, I still do this the, you know, the old fashioned way. I'm sure there's like a keyboard shortcut here. So I'm gonna move everything back like that, and then, so that kind of starts us off with our source. And then we say that it's gonna move into, so in this case, you can always assign on the right too, like that. So this is kind of a cool way of getting the same concept across. You go sort and then you say what you do. So my point here is dplyr and r, they are two peas in a pod. I'm gonna hit control enter just to show you this works. You see it worked. You should check it out, check out RStudio, things like that. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day.